Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about dolls and doll making. Today I want to expose myself, well, kinda, and show you my dolls from years ago. With this video I want to share some tips on how to get better at doll making and show you how you can get the same results with a little bit of patience. So at first we could start with looking at my old dolls. I started to make dolls in 2015 or 14. Most of them were ribbon joint dolls from Air Dry Clay. Some of them were completely static though. They had wire armature inside and even though I still like how they look, you can see how much better I got at making dolls. I had this dream to create porcelain ball joint dolls, but I didn't have the skill set yet. So I was experimenting with my style, getting to know the materials used for doll making and trying everything my heart desired. It was a great rehearsal for something more serious. Some people still prefer my old dolls because of the scrawny look they had, and for some the creepiness aspect was also a plus, but I knew I wanted to be a professional doll artist and these dolls were really amateur to pursue that. So if you are interested in the same transformation I had, I will share some of my lightbulb moments that really helped me to elevate my sculpting skills and overall understanding about doll making. It takes a lot of work to sculpt one doll, especially if you strive to sculpt more realistic dolls, then you have to have knowledge about anatomy and human body. I remember how excited I was when I was making my first few dolls and I always rushed to complete them. Even though I saw some imperfections, I chose to ignore them just so I could complete the doll faster. As you can imagine, my progress to get better at sculpting was very slow because I chose to ignore my mistakes and didn't do any research to correct them. Now I don't mind even if it takes me months to create one doll. This way I know that every detail is mindfully created. I sculpt and re-sculpt some features a few times until I'm truly happy with the result. If I'm not sure about the anatomy, I make sure to find lots of reference pictures or even take my own. This preparation and care for the work you are doing makes it so much better and you will see the results much faster. One example I could think of is sculpting hands. Before, I didn't care enough to understand how the hands actually look, how the bones and the joints connect, what poses it can do. I just made sure it has five fingers and it was enough. Now I take time to actually carve the shape of the fingers. I make sure to sculpt the joints, nails and even lines on the palm. It's not necessary, but all those details give so much character to the doll. And it builds my sculpting skills. So I know the next time I sculpt hands, it won't take me a week to complete them. When you are done creating your doll, give yourself a pat on the back and after a few days thoroughly analyze your work. Don't be harsh, but look at it with critical mind. This step is crucial if you want to create a better doll next time. Don't judge yourself or your abilities, but rather observe the advantages and flaws of your sculpture. Learning how to thoroughly analyze your work will help you immensely to improve your skills. When you are done with part of the doll, for example the face, look at it with a critical mind. Look at it from all sides, even if it takes an hour. Think about what you would change and how to do it. Usually the weaknesses are in symmetry or anatomy. Clearly name them for yourself. If one eye is lower than the other, 
make sure you will pay more attention next time. If lips seem unnatural, find more reference pictures and compare them with your sculpture. Knowing how to effectively analyze your work is a great strength to any artist. These days there is so much information online, you can easily find articles, tutorials and videos about doll making. I will leave links for my two blogs where I share my knowledge for years now. All those articles are free and might help you to learn more about doll making. Also you need to sculpt a lot, even if it's a few hours every week, make it a regular thing. This way you'll see your progress much quicker. Be curious about the art form you choose. On my two websites you can find lots of articles about sculpting, materials and even selling your dolls. All of them are free and full of great information. If you want more personal help, you can join my online masterclass where I teach how to sculpt ball jointed dolls. We even have a Facebook group for additional advice or share your progress pictures. All the links will be in the description below. Another advice I have is to observe other artists. And by this, I don't mean copying. Even in art schools, we learn by observing the masters. So do the same when learning for yourself. Find a few doll artists you admire and study their work. Lots of them, myself included, share work-in-progress pictures that make it more accessible. Have a list of things you want to improve on and see how others do it. Be respectful and don't copy their work. You can use similar techniques, but maintain your own style. And that's what you should strive for. I hope this was helpful. I wanted to share how years of thorough and mindful work can improve your sculpting abilities. I started with low skills in sculpting, but setting goals for myself, analyzing the flaws, and maintaining a good work ethic really helped me to get better and rapidly advance. So don't ever give up! If you want to see more videos on specific topics about doll making, leave your requests in the comments. Also, share with what you're struggling when making dolls. Maybe I could help. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.